or they always used to talk about movies at work when we worked at a microphone store literally for like three hours out of the day they would talk about movies and i'm like hey you fucking you donuts why don't you just make a podcast and like so that people that give a shit can listen to you because i don't give a shit <laughs> and they're like oh how are we gonna do that they said as they worked in a microphone store and, and, and a fucking mixing board store anchor.com i literally told them that and then today maybe yesterday two years later one of them messages me like hey dude we're finally getting around to that podcast hey how do we do it oh <laughs> uh, yeah that, dude. i just sent them the anchor link and i said figure it out you should have asked what kind of keywords did you search on google for oh man dude they were like he was like do we need to like register a business or something i was like nah just <laughs> yeah make, you, you just you make actually, the podcast you gotta make an escort yeah, I was like, so I, I wasn't about to get into SEO with them because I knew they wouldn't know what well, that is. I mean, you, you do it, you do it, uh, you do it by the fly of the night. You'd be like, oh, like, what kind of things are are you thinking about? Like, what, what do you need? What do you think you need? And you, it's not like you ask them directly. Hey, what are your? Let's bras? just get a couple episodes out. See if they actually do it. Because I know if it's, they did it, the episodes would be like eight hours plus. <laughs> I, I am curious about the consistency. I would like to see a, a chart, a graph plotted on on the internet of people that start a pod and people that consistently do a pod for however long and that data versus like people that started during a pandemic, how long that lasted. There's probably maybe like 20 podcasts that started during the pandemic that like people are now living off of, which I think is pretty cool. Here's a here's a free idea for anyone out there that free idea wants to do it. It probably wouldn't even be that hard. Something called Podcast Graveyard, or it's just a <laughs> website, and then there's like code on there many. that like scrapes through it's Apple lot, Podcasts lot for podcasts that haven't been posted on in five years. Yeah, it's just dead podcasts. There's there's definitely a site called Dead Dead Tokens or something. I was watching that the other day of dead tokens that are that's pretty easy if you have data that just says this hasn't been uploaded for like a year yeah just like that's search fun. this whole website if it hasn't been uploaded in <laughs> five years from today add it to the homepage or something i don't know what? yeah those <laughs> python nerds get on that